All right, so what I wanna do in this fall along is set up a GitHub organization. And the reason we wanna do this is so that uh, it's gonna make it easier when we get to that section. So what I'm gonna do is go to the top right corner and I want to, mm, I can make this an either or account. I'm gonna make it in the alternate account because I already have enough organizations in my main GitHub account. And what I wanna do is go over here to um, maybe organizations. And here it says, uh, you are not a member of an organization. We could turn this account into an organization. I don't want to do that. Or we can make a new org. So I'm going to make a new org. And notice right away, it's going to hit us with some pricing. So, um, you know, Teams gives you the uh, full functionality. We just want to have the free one, uh, which might have some limitations, but um, it should get us started. If there are things that we can't do, um, then I'll switch over to our paid one that I have in my account. For the most part, we should be able to do um, pretty much everything as long as we're using a public GitHub um, public GitHub repo. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create a free organization. And so I need some kind of name for this organization. Um, so um, I don't know, but we'll just say cl uh, GitHub Cloud Learners or Journeyers. Okay, notice that's gonna be the name of it. I say accounts at uh, teacherseat.com. And this organization belongs to a personal account. We could say a business or institution, but then we get a little bit more details there. So I'm gonna just stick it to normal and go to personal account. Then down below, we need to solve our puzzle. So we've seen this one before, we'll rotate that out and we'll submit, okay. And you'll have to name your organization, whatever you have to name it. But that's what I'm calling mine. You can put some numbers on the end here if that makes it easier. You could do like four, five, six, seven or something because these are gonna be unique names, just like your, your username. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And so now it says add organization members. So we can go ahead and add some people. So what I wanna do is I want to add um, Omen King. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Please don't add me, <laughs> all right? Add your own other account, your two accounts. Okay, we'll hit complete setup. And so now this person has been invited. I'm not sure if they're instantly added. Um, not yet, but I believe that I was, yeah, here's the invitation. So we'll go here. And so the invite has been sent and we'll have to go look for that. So I'm gonna go over here and switch to my other account, okay? And so now what I'll do is I'll click up here and maybe it's up here, my notifications. No, do I have invites here? No, <laughs> and um, maybe I got an email, I'll check my email. No email, and this is something you'll learn about GitHub, which is like invites are a pain and you always have to really figure it out. So I'm just trying to think about where that, or that could be. Um, what we could try to do is type in the organization name, which I thought we already did. Um, so this one, let's see, my profile is this. Yeah, so the organization's gonna be, what was it, cloud? Oh, I don't even remember. We'll switch back to the other one, what a pain. Okay, and we will look for that organization. GitHub Cloud Journey. So I'm just gonna copy this URL. I want the, um, the organization, I wanna go to this page actually. I'm gonna copy it here, I'm gonna switch back, and I'll enter this in. And so now notice that it's showing me where the invitation is. So it says, Andrew Brown invited you to join this organization. View invitations, okay? And I, I don't know if there is, but I'm just gonna double check here because a lot of times GitHub will have like invitations, invitations. They might have a page for it, they don't. GitHub, if you're watching, make a forward slash invitations page so we can easily find them across them here. So as you've been invited to GitHub Cloud Journeyers, Ask for a GitHub Copilot seat optional. I guess this is kind of an upsell. They're like, hey, do you wanna be able to use GitHub Copilot? But I'm gonna go ahead and join this organization. And now I'm in there. So there's two people in here. Again, we'll come back to this later. I'm the member, this is the owner. Um, and uh, you know, if your company is using GitHub, they're likely gonna be using, using an organization. So it's good to get some knowledge on that. But I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.